Hello everyone, it is Sarge and Mrs. Sarge. We are here with a Q&A tag. These are more questions that Shannon sent. And uh, there's 30 of them. However, we're going to do the first 15 here. And then the second half will be on Mrs. Sarge's channel, which is just Jen Alley. <clears throat> I will put tag up here and then I will um, put one at the end as well so that y'all can go over there and take a look at the other half of our questions. So here we go. Are you ready? Dun, dun, dun. I haven't looked at any of these. I haven't even peeked at these questions. As I said, there will be 15 on here. <clears throat> Question one. I don't think they're superstitions, but like deaths come in three. You do not use the Q word in medical or the S word. Quiet or slow. Calm. None of those words. Bad words. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Not like your basic ones like the black cat and under a ladder and breaking glass mirrors. I don't think I believe in any at all. Oh, do I? What do I believe in? I, okay, so when we were walking into surgery today, I had to stop everybody, grab Lainey, and make her go around the pole oh, the right way. Oh, yeah, I can't split poles. Mm -mm. You gotta, everyone's gotta walk up the same side. When I was working at the prison, uh, between the first set of gates, there's a, a pole there, and people knew how I was about it and they intentionally would not walk around the same side as me and we were walking into work like I'm not trying to have bad juju walking into a prison so I literally sat down and wasn't going to move until they came around the other side of the pole true story yeah I made Lainey come back around the pole good job um, because because you're going into surgery we're going into surgery When I was still at my job, I'd get asked my opinion on how to handle a situation or how, <clears throat> you know, how I would deal with something that was going on. I don't know if anybody really asks me advice. I'm the I don't know queen. <laughs> my answer to everything, I don't know. Um... But I guess a lot of times it's usually just like relationship. I don't know why, but it, it tends to because be because you landed this. Oh, totally. So that, that's generally about it. It's probably more relationship. Spencer's and hot topic. Unless there happens to be a shoe store between me and Spencer's. I think I have a store in the mall I really rush. Why are you giving me that look? Again, do I have one that I go to? You like the candy store. Well, <laughs> this is true. They carry some English chocolate in there, so... Yeah, I do go there. But other than that, yeah, I don't guess you have one that you really rush to. I don't. It's whatever we're going for. This is my favorite room. Totally. I, I don't know what it is about it. It's just... I don't know. It's relaxing. It's creative. It has everything in it, really. It's got the recliner that Harley is currently using. Is he? Yes. Oh, you can't, yeah, see him. can't see him. Good for guests or dogs. We got a TV. No, TV. We have the craft desk set up, all the crafting supplies. It's really just a really nice room. Mm -hmm. I think it's like everything. I 
I, I mean, she really does. Not quite a hoarder yet, but. I think part of that might be because you moved here. So. Mm. There's a lot less closet space. Yeah. So she kind of had to downsize a little. But all of her shoes are leaking out under my side of the bed. My three pairs, boots, tennis shoes, and my Crocs get like a corner. All they need. Um, I don't know that I collect anything. Really? I used to, it used to be wolves. And at one point it was the souvenir bells you could get. You know, they had the spoons and they had the bells. It was the bells. But I really don't think I do now. Recently, I've made a little collection of Philadelphia Eagles oh, Super Bowl championship say, shirts. Postcards. <laughs> postcards. How, like, seriously? It is right here. I wonder how many people are sitting there waiting. Yeah. Postcards. How many of y'all are yelling at your screen and rolling your eyes at me? I already know. Obviously, I answer questions for you better. I know That's all your true. answers. Gee, there are so many options. Mm -hmm. Mine might be a little too much detail. Um, mine is related to my surgeries and the intense lack of control that came afterwards. That I've told y'all about. Sorry if that's too descriptive, but the first time that 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 happened and I did not get where I needed to go was probably the most embarrassing moment of my entire life. Also, I have accidentally talked about someone in a text message and sent it to the person I was talking about. Fortunately, they're an ass, so it didn't really matter. I don't know, like for some reason, the only one that comes to mind was I was working at Subway as a sandwich artist. That was the Impressive. bomb. Yes, I was the manager even. And I was making this guy a sandwich. <clears throat> and I, I mean, I didn't really know him. Small town, I kind of knew who he was. And I'm, I knew that my blood sugar was going low. But I also thought I could make it to the end of the sandwich and then go grab something to eat. So I make it all the way through the sandwich. As far as I know, it was all right. But then he hands me a $50 bill to pay for it. I couldn't figure it out. I was so confused and I'm just like staring at him and I'm like, I, I don't know what. I was so confused and I was so embarrassed. I didn't make his sandwich again for like three weeks. And he came in like every other day. <laughs> Do you ever know why? Um, I think I finally told, I think a friend of mine came, the girl that was working with me came up and I was like, oh my God, you have to do this because I'm, I'm going low and I, I'm, I don't understand. And I like started crying and walked off. But he was kind of an ass. So I think he just thought it was stupid, but it was really embarrassing. That's the only thing I can really think of off the top of my head. I'm sure there's a The toilet. She's still scared of shower drains now. Yeah. I don't like standing on shower drains. Like I stand around them. Um, don't like my feet to touch them. But toilets and the flushing sound of the toilets. So when I, the house that I grew up in, the bathroom was at the very end of the hall. And it was a long hall. So I'd go to the bathroom and I'd open the bathroom door and I'd hold the bathroom door and I'd reach in. Flush the toilet and take off running down the hall. You know, I didn't know what mine was going to be, but now that you mention that, I don't know if toilets were like this here in the United States. This particular one that scared the crap out of me was. <laughs> <laughs> was in England in my grandfather's house, and it was. One of those, like, the toilet bowl was down on the floor, obviously, but the tank oh. was mounted up 
And had the pull and you chain. had to pull the chain. Oh, that's so cool. That scared me to death. I hated it. I do the same thing, like pull and run. Yeah, I don't know. All my brain fears came from the movie It, though. Never watched it. Don't plan on it. Yeah, there's probably too much blood in it for you. And now that I'm older, the old one is kind of. I think I'm a little bit of both. Like certain situations, I am very predictable. Like, you know what I'm going to do and what I'm going to say. But then, yeah, now I'm probably more predictable. I think you're more predictable. Yeah. I'm spontaneous when it comes to, like, my hair. Like, I don't plan. I don't make a hair appointment. If I want my hair cut and you can't cut it today, then I'm not cutting it. I'll just randomly walk in and be like, hmm. Do something. <laughs> Boys. So. I don't know what I'd say for myself. What do you think? You're pretty cool. Thank you. I love him. You're, you're pretty predictable. Am I? I can pretty much tell your, what your response is going to be to anything. But as far as like going and doing something. You like to have things planned out. Yeah. Okay. Predictable for both of us. Yeah. Like you want plan A, plan B, and plan C. Okay. I have an answer. The hardest lesson I ever learned was that... Uh, knowing that someone is going to die versus a sudden unexpected death, they're both just as horrible as the other. You know, I had often wondered, uh, my son's dad passed away unexpectedly when my son was eight years old. And we had no... No warning, no nothing. He was in the shower getting ready for work and had a heart attack. And after that, I I thought to myself, I mean, death is, you know, no one wants to experience losing a family member or friend or, or anybody. But when that happened, I felt like it would be easier to say goodbye to someone who you knew was going to pass away, who was sick. But then I went through that with my mother. You know, we we knew she was sick. Um, she was in hospice for the last few days of her life. And we knew, I mean, that's what we were waiting on. And it's not any easier. I think that was the hardest lesson I ever learned. Mine would be changing who I am to make somebody else happy. Thinking that's going to make me happy. Does that make sense? Yeah. I spent, what, almost 14 years trying to be somebody else to make somebody else happy to try to make my life happy. And I'm much happier just being me. And I found the love of my life <laughs> being me. I'm happy with you being you, too. Go ahead. Oh, oh get a room. Uh, okay. We told her we were all alone tonight. We didn't have any kids to make some videos. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Stupid, y'all. <laughs> Here's your video. Um, I don't know because I don't want to assume that I broke someone's heart. You know what I mean? Right. I don't right. want to assume that it was that tragic for them. So I really don't know how to answer that. Yeah, probably in the last two years when I told baby daddy, I don't want anything to do with you like that. Like, no, you disgust me.
relationship deal breakers. This is going to sound terrible now, but you had to have a job. <laughs> Which, you know, and I don't mean like if you needed to be on disability, being on disability or anything. I'm not referring to that. I'm just referring to someone that did not want to get off their behind and work. Like you had to you had to be able to support yourself. Not that I wouldn't want to take care of the person, but you you had to be stable in your own right. I don't think I was in a 14-year marriage before this. I don't remember. Did you just say fiddlesticks? Yes, I said fiddlesticks. Goes along with snapdragons. So, no, no answer? I, I mean... I don't guess so. I don't know. Mm. Logan was supposed to be Spencer Reed. But y'all can't guess why. <clears throat> he's not a Spencer, though. He's a Logan. But he was supposed to be Spencer Reed. So, yeah, Spencer Reed. I had another girl... I have no idea. I've never thought about it because I never planned to have another child after my son. I don't know what I would name a girl. I like original names, but... I would like to say I'd name a girl after my mother, but she didn't like her name, <laughs> so... I really... I honestly have absolutely no clue. I've never thought about it. I liked Spencer Reed. I think Ashton was another one for a boy, but that could go for a girl too. Mm -hmm. But no more babies around here. Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer, but I really don't either. You could have twins, thing one and thing two. I would totally name my kids thing one and thing two if I had twins. What did the drummer name his twin children? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. I don't know. And a one and a two. <laughs> Big brother. I would, I would like to be a big brother. I think. I am too lazy and scared of bugs and the dark and oh i can do like survivor mm -mm. um fear factor nope i wouldn't make it through the first challenge because mm -hmm. they're gonna make me touch something um, and you sure can't be the bachelorette well no big brother would be awesome i'd love to be on big brother that would be pretty cool i actually like filled out an application one time but i never submitted it if I was in, if I didn't have my health issues and I was in better shape, I actually wouldn't mind trying Naked and Afraid. I'm not about nudity. I'm really not. But I, that is, I don't know. Like you literally have There's bugs nothing the e except the one thing. Yeah, but you have someone with you. I Makes it a little bit better. Mm. It's still bugs and dark. Amazing Race would be fun. Mm -mm, too much exercise. Oh, big brother it is. At night, home alone in the shower. I can do it in the morning because bad guys aren't out at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> they have a schedule to keep. I'm telling you, like I have no problem being home alone, showering at the butt crack of dawn but you won't catch me in the shower in the middle of the night mm -mm, bad guys are out then I feel most vulnerable in in the medical environment now I, that wouldn't always have been my answer but I, that's just where I feel vulnerable I realize that anything they come at me with I can say no and I can refuse it but it's 
probably not in my best interest to do so. And I know whatever they're doing needs to be done. But I, I feel powerless, even though I do have the power and I understand that that's just how I feel. So, yeah. On, on a deeper emotional level, I'd say when I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Or if I mess something up, we had a, they called it as a code. It ended up really not. But anyway, there was some confusion. Nobody was dying or anything else. Um, but I had messed one thing up and another nurse said something and I shut down. Like I was just, I shut down and I, I handed it off to somebody else and we finished everything. And then I went and hid in an office and bawled. So when I screw something up <clears throat> or I don't know what I'm doing, I'm very emotionally vulnerable. Vulnerable. Honorable. That word. Mm -hmm. I have one. Go ahead. When I was working at the very first unit I worked at in the prison system, <clears throat> there was a cell block. And basically, when you walked into this building, you could walk in a door on either side of the front of it. And then you had A side and B side is what they were known as. And each one was a run of cells, two stories. And uh, I forget which side it was. It must have been A side they closed down. They cleared it out. They moved all the offenders because it was turning into um, close custody. One was medium and one was close. They were turning them both to close custody. So they had to go and put the food slot doors because they didn't have them. They had to go and, you know, cut the... You see them on the prison shows where they open the doors and put the food trays and everything through there. They had to cut those into these doors. So there were no offenders over there. And um, we have, at the, this was years ago, we had Polaroid cameras. We've moved on since then, yeah, but we had Polaroid cameras. And someone had used the Polaroid camera and taken a picture just looking down this, the run, the one that was empty. I don't know why. I don't remember, but someone took a picture and I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in any of that stuff, but there was clearly, clearly a silhouette of a woman with like a sun hat on all the way at the end of this run. It was creepy. And yeah, that's been my really my only experience, but yeah, that, that got me, because I don't believe in that stuff. If you try and tell me, I'm going to tell you it's someone photoshopped it or whatever, but I saw this with my own eyes, and yeah. I totally believe in the paranormal. I, I told you when you're gone, I'm going to load the dishwasher wrong so you throw a fork at me. Chances are good that will happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm never going to close the Q-tip drawer. I'm going to do anything and everything to get you back with me one way or another because I totally believe in the paranormal. She will not close the tip for after she gets two tips after her shower. Would that drive anyone else insane? Because it drives me nuts. It also is a dead giveaway as to if we have or have not showered <laughs> that day. <laughs> and, and then there was like the other day she knew I took a shower. But I had forgotten to use the Q-tip. Then when she took a shower and <clears throat> went to go get a Q-tip, the drawer was still open. So she knew she was the last one. So she came in here. I was sitting in here. She came in here. She's like, here, I know you forgot. <laughs> See, it's helpful. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I really have any, like, personal. But <clears throat> in the house that I grew up in, in El Paso, there, there was a hallway. And it was like the gym hallway. Like there was tons, like pictures of me all over the wall. And it, you know, there's this hallway and like my room's here and mom's is here, whatever. We swapped back and forth all the time, but the wall had pictures of me. Well, me and my mom were visiting my dad and we were at the lake and I went low, like low, low, like they shot me up with a glucogen and threw me in the van and were taking me to the hospital because I was low, like unresponsive low. Well, about the same time that I was they in the van and they were taking me to the hospital from the lake, my uncle was walking down the hallway 
and heard me calling his name. I, I was halfway across the state and he could hear me calling his name. So, that is pretty weird. Yeah. But we're all about the paranormal in my family, so. Not this one. That's it. No, I was going to hold it. That is it, as I was just told. That was question 15. There are 15 more questions that will come up in part two. That will be on Mrs. Sarge's channel, which is just Jen Alley. So, y'all need to head over there. Uh, it This one will upload first. I can't tell you exactly how long the other one will upload afterwards, but it will be coming out tonight. So, I'll keep checking for it and see what the rest of our questions are, thanks to Shannon. Hope y'all enjoyed the first part. And next time you see us, should be on her channel. In opposite chairs. <laughs> and, yeah. I love y'all. Every one of you. Silent subscribers as well. Y'all mean the world to me. I just... Y'all support, I tell you every time, I tell you every time I end a video, y'all support is absolutely amazing. So we will see y'all again soon. Peace.